Georgetown Breakdown from Verizon Center. Presented by HoyaHoops.com. Sunday afternoon here at Verizon Center, the Georgetown Hoyas won their eighth consecutive game, defeating the Marquette Golden Eagles 69 to 60. For the Hoyas, the load was carried offensively by Chris Wright and Austin Freeman, who combined for 37 points and eight assists as they helped the Hoyas pull away down the stretch for another impressive victory. We didn't play well. Uh, you know, we were. Little, I don't. I don't think we were flat. I don't, I don't want to use that word. We just didn't play well. Um, and, you know, you have to give them credit for that. They do a very good job of taking you out of your rhythm and, you know, they just run and jump and trap and play you hard. And, and so, you know, we got to give them credit for that. No, I think the Hoyas are a top 10 team, uh, obviously one of the hottest teams in the country. Uh, we just wanted to play hard. We wanted to play with great effort. It was a slow start for the Hoyas offensively. They missed their first seven three-point attempts and Marquette took advantage. They led by seven in the first half. Freeman and Wright each made three-pointers to cut the lead to one. But Marquette is a very tough team defensively. They used their defense to create offense. And the Golden Eagles led by four at halftime, 35 to 31. In the second half, it was Georgetown who tightened up the defense, and the offense stayed in rhythm. Chris Wright, another three-pointer, helping the Hoyas chip away. And then Austin Freeman scores to give the Hoyas their first lead of the game at the 12-minute mark in the second half. Wright and Freeman did most of the damage, but there were key contributions from other Hoyas down the stretch. And despite another shaky finish for Georgetown, they managed to pull away in the final moments and win the game by nine. Sometimes we shoot well, sometimes we don't. So, you know, I just think as long as we stayed with our stuff and kept fighting, and our energy was very good today on both ends of the floor. We weren't always executing, but in terms of hustle and just covering each other's back, I think it was there. So, you know, in, in terms of rough shooting or whatever, it happens. and. You know, we grinded it out today, and we stuck with it, and everybody stayed together, and, and you know, it paid off. Another big story of the second half was Hollis Thompson. The sophomore grabbed a career-high 13 rebounds, including 12 in the second half. The young man to my left did an outstanding job of, um, and, and started making the hustle plays. They were getting every loose ball. They were making the hustle plays in the first half. In the second half, I felt we did. In the first half, they, they out-rebounded us, and uh, we... Coming in, coming out of the locker room at halftime, we emphasized uh, boxing out and get rebounds, and I think my teammates did a great job of boxing out, which allowed me to come in and get the boards. During Georgetown's current eight-game winning streak, the offense has been good, but the defense has been even better. Opponents during this stretch are shooting only 40% from the field, and from three-point range, the opponents are below 30%. Another excellent indicator of Georgetown's D occurred today against Marquette. Entering this game, the Golden Eagles led the Big East with a 1.58 assist to turnover ratio. Today against Georgetown, five assists and 12 turnovers. At Verizon Center in Washington, D.C., I'm Tony Lamarzi for the Georgetown Breakdown.